Hello and welcome to Excel Breakout Puzzles. My name's Jeff and I'm glad that you're here. I'm not sure if you're aware of this trend that's sweeping the nation of escape rooms or breakout, breakout puzzles. Um, my family and I love to go uh, to these rooms and the idea is you actually go to like a physical room uh, in the real world, like in a store or something, and, um, and they lock you in. Okay, and then you have to use your skills to look around the room and gather clues to figure out a code. And you would enter the code into, let's say, a padlock that would open up like a desk drawer. You'd open up the desk drawer, you'd get more clues to figure out another code that unlocks another padlock, so on and so forth, until you finally get to the last code that unlocks the door that allows you to escape from the room. So they are super fun and we love to do them. And so this is a picture of, of me and my son, Jason, and we just got done with, uh, with getting out of a room and it was awesome. But I was like, Jason, this is so fun, man. And I'm like, I really want to incorporate this idea into my Excel courses. So I came up with this idea called the Excel Breakout Puzzle. And the idea is that you have to use your Excel skills that you've learned throughout the course, like in this lesson or whatever, um, to find this hidden code that I've hid for you in Excel in an Excel workbook. So you download the Excel workbook, you've applied what you've learned in order to find my like deviously hidden codes, all right? So I wanna give you a quick demonstration of, of one of these, okay? So here is a two-step puzzle, right? So step one, step two. And in step one, you need to get the key. Now the key isn't the final code, the key just helps you unlock the code, right? So here we'd read the directions in this step, you need to obtain the key, the key is not the code, the key unlocks the code. The key is made up of five letters, so we're looking for a five letter key. And it says to hide rows as needed to reveal the five digit key to use in the next step. So this would come in a lesson where maybe we've talked about filters. So we know that to hide rows, we can use the data filter command. So we'd activate the filters, and we'd use this pull down to select the number of digits. Well, we're looking for a five letter or five digit key. So we select five and click OK, and that applies the correct filter, and it reveals the key. The key is R-A-Q-T-G. The key is R-A-Q-T-G. So we head over to step two, and we type in the code. I mean the key. The key is R-A-Q-T-G. G. <laughs> and that reveals the code. The code is 1021. And so um, so you'd enter that code, you know, into the into the course and proceed. But that is the idea for the Excel breakout puzzle. Hope that was fun and have a great day.